India created history by soft landing closer to the south pole of the moon at the Shiva Shakti point. India has recognized that by giving an award to Team Chandrayaan 3. I have with me two key players of that Chandrayaan 3 team, Dr. Veera Muthuvel and Ms. Kalpana. Both played a key role in the success of Chandrayaan 3. Uh, Dr. Veera Muthuvel, congratulations on receiving the Vigyan Team Award. Uh, what was your feeling on that day when Vikram landed a little after 6 p.m. in the evening, you were in the control room. What was your feeling? Thank you so much. And it was a very happy and uh, joyful moment. And uh, it was more satisfying moment to me as well as for my team. For this day, we have worked hard. So it was really a pleasant experience and it was joyful moment. It came after a failure. Were you worried? No, uh, this time we were very confident before the power descent start. Uh, that is the most crucial part of it, that 19 minutes terror. But we, we have got exact results what we want. Uh, that is the state vectors x, y, z and x dot, y dot, z dot. And all those data were very good and the health of the satellite was very good. So we were very confident that this time we will land properly because we have devised multiple mission paths like if one goes wrong, what is the sec second action? Second goes wrong, what is the third action? So we have a very, very uh, detailed mission plan. Because it is a, a real-time decisions, there is no ground intervention is involved. But we were prepared for it. We were very confident before the power descent. We know that we are going to land. But what was most satisfying for us is exactly we got the location. That is 69.3 degree latitude towards south and 32.3 degree towards east. We were just off by 300 meters distance. That close we got. It was a textbook landing. Kalpana, what was your feeling that day when, when it landed like a feather on the nearer the south pole of the moon and subsequently in the year we have seen so many other people failing to soft land so what was your feeling on that evening uh, thank you sir and uh, definitely the first feeling is it's a very it was a very satisfying moment because we could complete the mission what we had taken up and uh, we could uh, finish the unfinished task what we had taken up during Chandrayanti uh, two time. So it was a very satisfying moment uh, for us as a team. We could accomplish it in a flawless way after all the uh, hard work that had gone in as a team. Be it the extensive tests what we did or the exhaustive simulations what we did. After all that we could demonstrate a flawless uh, landing which is very important at me and it means a lot for our uh, space uh, uh, journey so it was a very satisfying moment because uh, finally it is the last stroke on the nail that counts and uh, that we could uh, get it done. did you laugh or did you cry after the landing actually frankly speaking speaking we were really looking at the data at that moment the, more than emotion we were looking at the data whether everything is fine whether the telemetry is perfect whether we are getting the signal we are more towards the data at that moment now we have vikram right behind us a model of vikram and also pragyan what what have been the key findings from chandrayaan 3 its purpose was to soft land but you also did science have there been any findings from chandrayaan 3 yeah a lot of findings uh, we have got a plethora of science data from uh, three important instruments in lander one is called uh, chaste that is a probe which got inserted into the lunar regolith which measures the temperature variations and we inserted about 140 mm below the regolith and we have got a strong vertical gradient from that uh, probe and second sensor was uh, second payload was uh, it measures the near surface plasma environment electron density and electron temperature this was a state of the art instrument 
math. It's the first time we got the measurements. This will be very helpful for the future missions. Then third one was the instrument for lunar seismic activity, which measures the seismic event. It can be natural, it can be artificial. We have got uh, several artificial events like uh, solar panel deployment of rover and rover mobility, and also the deployments of the payloads, and also natural event also we got. And then other two key instruments in rover. Rover was actually uh, had a mobility of nearly 100 meters, which was a very, very great milestone. And we have got two instruments there as well. One is uh, alpha particle X-ray spectrometer. Other one was uh, laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy. Both measures the major and minor rock forming elements. And we have got uh, even detection of sulfur. And uh, both works in two different pr principles. But uh, we measured a chemical composition analyzer of the lunar soil samples. We got a very, very good data. And we completely met the mission objective of uh, lander as well as rover. And towards the end of it, you would have heard that... Uh, yes, you not only completed the mission, but you did more than the mission by doing uh, a hop and also bringing back the a very propulsion module. propulsion module. So, so one mission and more objectives than... Yeah, absolutely. What you said is right. We are, towards the end of the mission, we did a hop-on test where the lander, whichever the engines used to land, we have used the same engines to slightly move up and then move laterally uh, towards uh, the lateral direction so that uh, we got a new location as well. And we have deployed the payloads again back. We got a new location. We operated one Earth day, uh, all these measurements. And uh, as you... One lunar. Day. One, not one lunar day, one Earth day, because uh, towards oh, the, the end of the, after the hop, after the hop, and also we have done the propulsion module. Also, propulsion module it has escaped from Moon's sphere of influence and it has come to Earth's orbit. These two experiments was suggested by Chairman Nisro and Director URSC, and uh, we worked really 24 by 7 to operate that because no plans, absolutely no plans. We have done lot of work and we did successfully also, so that it it will be a demonstration for the future lunar sample return mission. So, from Chandrayaan 3, within Chandrayaan 3, you managed to do a little bit of Chandrayaan 4 also. Yes. Exactly. Uh, Kalpana, what is the plan for Chandrayaan 4? Actually, um, Chandrayaan 3 itself, as he was explaining, that was a precursor. Uh, the, whatever the hop-on test we did, it was a mini precursor for the uh, sample return also. So, we have a roadmap uh, laid down. Uh, further to Chandrayaan 3, we have a sample return mission planned, which is a Chandrayaan 4. And also, what next to be done towards this, be it the demonstration of the required technologies. We need a host of new technologies towards this, like the robotic arms and many other things towards the... So, excited about Chandrayaan 4? Definitely, definitely. definitely. And is just moon on the horizon or are we looking at Mars and Venus? Because you are now becoming the planetary person for India. No, we have a lot of ambitious plans and uh, it's not only uh, to the moon and uh, all are in study phases and uh, we have completed the studies for uh, Mars landing mission as well and Venus orbiter mission and many, many things. All are in study phase and uh, it has to go for uh, government approvals and uh, but we have presented to uh, our management about our study things like whatever I said and it all uh, uh, we are waiting for the approvals. So excited about the future of planetary exploration by India for from Indian Space Research Organization and the larger ecosystem? No? Absolutely. We are, I am delighted and uh, we are eagerly looking forward for uh, uh, for accomplishing this these future missions as well. Is your team happy with what they achieved? Yeah, absolutely. I, they are very, very... Uh, it's all like a satisfying, life-satisfying moment for all of us. And excited to go and do more interesting, exciting, very adventurous work? Yes, whatever the task is given, it is not only a moon mission or a Mars mission. Whatever the task is given, that is our ISRO's culture. We do it to the best. And whatever the task is, I am going to take up in the future also, I will do it to the best. Uh, I will put 100% what is required. Kalpana, any message for young people who saw the feather-like landing on Shiva Shakti point and now who want to join and do space technology exploration. 
Yeah, definitely, because uh, this particular achievement, what we achieved, it is uh, not just an uh, it was not just an achievement for the space community or the scientific community, but uh, it has definitely ignited a very big spark among the children and the youth of our country. That is, I feel it's one of the key achievements of this uh, particular Chandrayaan-3 landing. So whatever this spark which it has ignited, I think uh, all of us should uh, carry forward this and uh, students should get motivated. We are, phys we are practically seeing this in our campus. Uh, what our uh, statistics shows is after Chandrayaan-3 landing, uh, thousands and thousands of st students have been visiting our center and they are very much interested to know about this mission and overall the space program whatever is going on here. So I think this is something which is uh, really satisfying for us. It has brought our youth and children together and more closer towards the space program. Thanks a lot for speaking to me. Always a pleasure learning and listening about the hard work which you put in, years of hard work, and also the moment of glory. And India is recognizing Team Chandrayaan 3 which is a very happy moment because it is very important. So that was Team Chandrayaan 3, which brought glory for India by successfully soft landing nearer the south pole of the moon. The Shiva Shakti point is now talk of the globe. What a glorious evening it was when India held its breath in a baited fashion. And then came the explosive joy of the country. And now India rightfully recognizing Team Chandrayaan 3 in the Team Vigyan Awards. With camera person Kumar at the UR Rao Satellite Center in Bangalore, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.